There is no way that's a woman. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. If you came into the room and heard your kid playing a game that sounded like that, wouldn't you be concerned? Yes. What <laughs> in the world? I don't know what I did wrong. Cleo's been so weird lately. It's like she's a completely different person. And she's not the only one. There's something strange going on at the school. And then we respond with, <laughs> Do you have any idea what it might be causing this weird behavior? <laughs> <laughs> Did we just climax? Oh my. Oh, 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 faster! <laughs> they were like, they didn't have audio for this, so they just planted a bug in the hotel room of like the of like one of the voice actors who was male. Oh no! And he was banging with one of the female voice actresses. Wait, wait so why did why was he the one mourning instead of the girl? I don't know. Sometimes the guys make noise, you know. That makes sense. So how they get? Did they like isolate his audio? Yeah. And check out. Nice. Yeah. They they were like, shut up in there, but only the girl. They pounded on the wall. <laughs> so then the girl shut up, but he still did it. That's really funny. Perfect. You know what? I think you might be onto something. All this weirdness did start around the time Cleo got that amulet for her birthday. Oh! <laughs> Moan again. <laughs> what was that one where it went ay 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 in the middle of the year? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? This is the most inappropriate thing I've ever heard in a kid's game. <laughs> So what to do? I'm pretty good at research, so I could hit the books and see if I could turn up something on the amulet. When they were making this game, they had to have known what that sounded like, right? How does no one mention this in the reviews? Do you think no one played this far? I don't know, but how did nobody think, oh, this sounds like somebody's getting the shit banged out of them? I don't know. I just don't get, like, nobody mentioned it. Like, I've looked up stuff about this game online and no one's ever like... Yeah, what's up with Ghoulia climaxing under the lunch table? Like, nobody ever says anything about that. And it sounds nothing like how she Maybe, sounds in the show. You know how, like, Twitter and everybody online is, like, obsessed with fictional characters' ages now? Yeah. Like, there can be a character that's 17, 364 days old, and, like, 23 hours and 59 minutes. Uh-huh. And if somebody said, oh, yeah, they're attractive, everyone would call that person a pedo. That's true, because they are. So, so probably, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> so probably what happened is everybody was, like... I don't want to be the guy to, to say something about this. Like, I don't want to be the one to bring up sex with Monster High. Because they didn't want to think that they associated yeah. it with the game. Yeah, so they were just like, yeah, great game. Yeah, <laughs> 10 out of 10. I best. understand, but also it's hard to look past. Yeah, it is. Not here past, though. Oh. <laughs> Why are does they overly worse? long? And why does it say oh yeah, oh yeah? Does it get worse every time we hear it? Yeah, it gets worse. I think it does too. It's like overly long. <laughs> if you keep an eye on Cleo and bring the other fear leaders into the loop, then I'll hit the library and see if research can turn up any clues. How about we meet up again when things have calmed down a bit? When we do, I'll let you know if I found anything. <laughs> Thanks for coming after me. You're a real friend. Take care. We'll catch up soon. I feel like that's more like what a banshee would sound like. Not a not a zombie. In the show, she goes, Ugh. Yeah. Like, like an actual zombie. Well, but also, in this, it's just weird. Yeah, breaking news, Monster High, Cleo is a bully. Incident leaves Gulia in tears, that's mean. Well, he's defending his girlfriend. You defend me. That's true. Is there anything else going on? I don't know. No, oh, I like that pink skirt. Well, you can get it if you want. You like anything else on here? I kind of like that. You can get it. I don't care. Um, do you like the blue skirt? Yeah. Oh, we don't have enough. Well, we'll have more. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> no one, us. Yeah, Gulia, uh, would you want to grab lunch in the cafeteria? Oh, 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 oh,
<laughs> oh, my juice bar. <laughs> what? They just start for... saying stuff? <laughs> my ghoul spot? Yeah, it stands for ghoulia spot. Wait, we're getting more and more notifications on the phone. What's going on? Everybody's talking about Ghoulia's Ghoulia spot. What is happening? Like, what's up with all... Like, there's I, nothing I happening. I think it was just a glitch because of the low budget. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, let's go in there. Hey, Spike Brownies. Yay, brownies! You know what Ghoulia says when she sees brownies? Oh, oh yeah! Oh, okay, we get oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> let's talk to Homac. Oh, Aurora Drake, you're just in time. We're making the special now. Do you think his, uh, his hair things have brains of their own? I think so, yeah. Well, that's kind of messed up, so they're just attached to this guy and stuck there? Well, that's kind of like Medusa. Isn't that isn't that how it worked for her? I guess. It just seems I thought kinda, they were her pets. It just seems kind of sad for those snakes. I th hope that they're having a happy life. Hey guys, let's get going on the Scaregetti. That would mean that he has had a mohawk his entire life and that he didn't just like shave it unless he like killed a bunch of snakes. That's crazy. What if he did? What if he just saved his favorites? That's really funny. Good thing his favorites are all in the same spot. Okay, I got the pots on for the pasta. Chopping onions. Reducing the tomatoes. I love Alyssa Bat. She's cool. Pretty creeper creeperific, am I right? It's like a well-coiled machine. In fact, I think we could take on more work. Uh-oh. And I was thinking, what if we cooked students' favorite dishes? That would be sick. Aurora Drake, I need you to go get around and ask the students what some of their faves are. We're going to give them the total scream of the crop on it. Great, scurry back once you're done. All right, sounds good. You know what? I wonder why Deuce hasn't said anything about Cleo being an absolute cunt. Because he's her her boyfriend. Yeah, like, they hang out all the time. Maybe that's why he hasn't. Oh. He because doesn't want to get in trouble. He doesn't want to get in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> that's really funny. He keeps it to himself. Usually if you're a guy and your girl is doing some really messed up stuff, unless it's like something you really need to get out there, you just kind of just sit on it. You think so? A lot of times, yeah. Wait, I mean, really? guys will talk about their girlfriends or wives to each other, but not like, there's like lines to it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Where it's like, oh, that's too far, I'm not going to say anything about that, because that's too much. Just have a conversation about it with her. Well, yeah, because if it gets back to her, then you're in a ton of trouble. Oh, yeah, for sure. So it's like not worth risking it. Angel food cake. Nice. What? Was that all I had to do? Oh, I guess I have to talk to him more. Or we're just giving it to them? No, no, no. We're asking them what their favorites are, and then Deuce is going to make them their favorites. Oh, well, he's going to have to make a lot of stuff because most people have a different favorite food. That's true, but he said he's willing to take on all the work. That was cool of him. Nice little jump there. Thank you. I thought I did a good job. Weed machine, and then we're oh, well, yeah, we already... nothing in there. I already got too much weed today. Wild, Wild berry. berry and clover smoothies. Don't, the clover doesn't sound good. The that berry sound does. Great, no. Berry does. Yeah. But also, why are we making Gilda Goldstag's favorite food? She's like the least deserving person here. Why? Because <laughs> she doesn't do anything. Yeah, I feel like Frankie and Claudine and like all no, the others should. We're not even going to talk to them. I think they should get some amount of screen time. Sorry, but no, I don't think so. They if, only get to screen time when it's like fear leading practice once a week. At least they have a storyline. Chilling cheese fries. All right. That actually sounds good. That does sound pretty like, good. Like, I'm assuming it's supposed to be chili cheese fries. Yeah, yeah, but it makes you cold. No, I think it's supposed to be, like, scary. No, I know. I was just making a joke. Like, oh, wow, look, what? everything's got a pun. Why do so many people leave food on the plates in here just rot? Oh, dude, you should see, like, an actual high school. Way worse. Really? Yeah. That's awful. People are very messy, massive douchebags about everything. Do you want to eat this, like, eyeball food? No, I don't. I but the sandwiches good. don't look bad. Well, uh, I'd eat the eyeballs, personally. Okay. Hey, do you think if that Cyclops girl ate enough eyeballs, she'd grow another eye? I don't think so. I don't think that's part of the lore. That's oh, something okay. out of Elden Ring. She should have a son and name it Plankton. Why? Oh, because he's got one eye. <laughs> yeah. Why does he have one eye? Is that a thing with Plankton? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you'd know what the lore of the show. I don't know. There's not really a whole lot of lore in the show. Ah, you're back. What'd you find out? Found out everyone has different foods. Whoa, that's a coffin load of boo foods to try. This is going to be great. Thanks for the help. We only asked for three different people. 
Well, we're going to hope that other people have crossover with their favorites. All right. Otherwise, we're going to have a problem. Why do we pick those three specific people as well? Like, what what's, makes them special? Well, everybody's special, Jill. That's part of the story. Oh, this is our class. I have to go back in here. All That's right. That's odd. Well, we finished multiple storylines of this game. Yeah, we're, I think we're getting close to the end. I don't know, because we were only at 58% when we loaded it. Oh. But maybe a big percentage of that was finishing that storyline. That's probably true, yeah. Like, I don't know how uh, particular the tracker is. Emergency at the fashion club. Don't drag your zombie feet. We don't have zombie feet. We're not zombies. That's true. Cooking club unearths a menu of student body favorites. Looking forward to angel food cake. I hope they get some good seaweed in the kitchen. The stuff they're using is a tadpole too salty. Sorry, Gil. You have my word that freaky fab new things are coming. I'm looking forward to chilling my oh to my chilling cheese fries. I'm thinking a creepateria photo may be in order for today. You know, it, when somebody asks you your favorite food, don't you have to stand there and think about it for like a few minutes? Because like my favorite food changes on what I'm feeling like that day. I think a lot of people just have a favorite food. We don't. We it depends <coughs> on the day and like how we're feeling and what we're up to. Yeah, but we're old. We're old. I'm not that old. Yeah, I'm getting there. No, you aren't. Yeah, I am. No, you're only almost thirty. That's kind of getting old. <laughs> but um, I think that mine is probably like overall pizza. Like pizza? good pizza. I and, think mine overall might be burgers or bacon cheeseburgers. That's up there. Ooh, for me. I like bur I like bacon cheeseburgers. Um, I also like sautéed mushroom burgers. I also really like Alfredo noodles, like yeah. chicken Alfredo stuff like that. That is good. I really want some chicken Alfredo from Olive Garden at some point. Yeah, I do too. It's just I wish that it was less money, you know. I know, but it's really good. I really like when they you get the crusted chicken, and I like their breadsticks. And they have um, they have this new dessert that is fried donuts that are like Italian fried donuts with chocolate you can dip into. Well, that sounds good, but the problem is their breadsticks have gone way downhill, in my opinion. They're not as good as they used to be because they changed the recipe. There's nothing up here. Let's just let's just leave it. Oh, okay. Let's just go talk to them. We do this every time we come in here. Well, I just think it's fun. That's okay. It's not. Who could have done this? Yeah. I cannot believe this. Such a monstrous setback. It's ruined. Sob. My dress is ruined. You want to do her voice? Skeleta, what is wrong? Skeleta's dress rare, has been shredded. Know anything about it? Jennifer? I think it was one of the cats. <clears throat> Me? No, I could never do such a horrific thing. The show, it's over. Is it possible the monster responsible is in this room? You guys are sounding very accusing. I wish I knew. Skeleta, what can I do to help? It could have been anyone. The show is tomorrow. And also the scratches on the dress look like they could have been from a cat. <laughs> Why would they do it? I thought they were invested here. They like to make trouble. We'll help you fix it, Skeleta. One of us here damaged that dress and I'm not afraid to scratch around until we find out who it was. Why are they being so accusing? It could have been anyone. Yeah, what if it was like- uh, The janitor. Director Clavel. Yeah, you mean Clive? Yeah. <laughs> How do you suggest we go about doing that? Well, I was here this morning and saw the dress intact. That means whatever happened to it occurred during lunch. Or you're lying and you did it this morning. That's true. Aurora Drake is here to dig up the real dirt and figure this out. Why Aurora Drake? She's not a fashion club member. What? Wow. <laughs> she can tell who's being a conniving kitty. What do you mean? I, th I thought I was a part of the club. Yeah, we don't count. I thought I joined. I guess not. Once everyone tells Aurora Drake where they were at at lunch, we can move on to fixing the fashion show. All right. What are we, a detective? I guess. I was in the level two hallway with Torlai and Meowlity like we do every day. <laughs> okay, so do we want to go talk to Torla Torlai and Meowlity? Well, we're gonna talk to Meowlity here. Let's see, I pried open my locker to put my books away. Then Persephone and I went to level two hallway to meet up with uh, Torlai. 
So they have a, a alibi together. Yeah, but that's if they're not lying. First, I was reading news feed when Jennifer asked to hang out. We ended up in the foyer just chatting. Why would we accuse her of destroying her own dress? I don't know. I met up with Lorna in the South Hall, and we decided to visit the study howl. Skelita and I were in the foyer the entire time. Go ahead and ask. She will tell you. Well, how do we know who did it, then? I don't know. They all have a solid alibi. Do they? Because anybody could be lying. Yeah, but they are corroborating each other's alibis. I guess that's true. The only one who doesn't have a solid alibi... Um, is the Bigfoot girl because Lorna isn't here to confirm it. Well, yeah, but that's not fair to uh, just assume that I don't know. Like, just because she's not here doesn't mean it's not true. Well, I guess that's true. I genuinely think it's one of the cats. But I don't have any evidence of it. Should I, should I just pick somebody? No, no, no. Why? Because I was trying to see if there's like a way to look it up or like look and, and investigate it. Investigate? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Determine who damaged the dress. Uh. You see anything about it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Marisol Coxie is the only one who wasn't with a fashion club member during lunch. She was with Lorna. Lorna is not a fashion club member. Skelita and Jennifer were hanging out, and Meality and Persephone were hanging out with Torali. So what? Like, what if she was just not with a fashion club member? Why would that make her the... I don't know. The, the game is obviously stupid. I guess they're trying to say that she's lying because she doesn't have, like, an actual alibi. But she might. Just the person's not here. I know. I feel like you should be able to go ask, like, Torelai and Lorna if they were actually there. Yeah, you should have been able to go vet these. I feel like this is really dumb. All right, I did it. Why? I don't know. Marisol, No! I always knew your big feet were stupid. It was a huge and total accident. It's because my feet were gigantic. I should create an only feet. Only feet? What, what happened? happened? <laughs> okay, so I came to the claudatorium at lunch to work on my on designing my own dress when I saw something move out of the corner of my eye. I got scared and took a couple steps backward, but then my feet got snagged on some fabric. I began to fall, so I reached out to grab at something, you know, to keep me stable. And well, that something just happened to be your dress. I'm so sorry, Skelita. Why didn't you just say something? You're not upset with me? Not if it was an accident like you say, but I'm going to have to work my fingers to the bone to fix it. Well, I'm kind of wondering, because we she just proved that she was a liar. So like, was it an accident? Well, that is a question. I'll help, I feel awful. Yeah, somebody should make Marisol a new outfit. Looks like someone needs to be a little more careful around the merchandise. Rare. We don't have much time. If we're going to fix this, we better get started. It could have literally been anyone in the school. Why did it have to be somebody in the fashion club, by the way? I don't know. Because this stuff was just back here. Okay. So, anybody could have done that at any time. Someone could have just come back here and ruined the clothes. Yeah, I don't get it. Also, that was, that was it. That's all we had to do. Now we just go home. Can I see the objectives real quick? Oh, that's it. Okay, well, yeah. that's all we can do. Uh, what about that kiss? That was a lame uh, mission. Sorry again for the trouble, Skelita. Fixing that dress was a pain in the neck. Oh, there's no way you already did it. No. I don't believe you. It's, it's just, it's not anything. Let's just leave. Yeah, that was a little disappointing. What is that? Is that like a... Oh, okay. I didn't remember going through that room. I don't know. I thought we'd just go through this way. It's well, right. all. What? We're in the hall. I thought you said it's the doll. It's the hall. It's the doll. It's the hall. How are we going to find the rest of those, uh, like... I thought we'd look them up. Oh, really? Yeah, I thought we the might codes. look them up, yeah. And the turnips Cause, or whatever? Because I have no idea where the heck they're supposed to be. I don't either. I figure, I guess we could go look through some more of the rooms that we might not have been in. Well, the problem is I feel like we've been in every room. I feel like that too, but maybe there's a couple we haven't been in. The school is kind of big. That's true. Like you. Oh my. 
You know, I actually really do have fun playing this with you, because every time we play, I feel like I'm progressing something. Yeah, because it's not, like, getting stuck every two seconds like a million other games we play. Yes, and that's... There's something to say for that, you know, like, just a straightforward, enjoyable. mostly straightforward, enjoyable narrative game. It's not yeah. the best, and yeah, maybe we wouldn't like it if we didn't like Monster High, but I do like Monster High, so I enjoy it. I think it's fun. I like that you actually feel like you get to do progress every day. And that you go home without feeling like you did something dumb. It is crazy to me, though, how many games, like, could be improved if they would steal from Bully. You know, mm -hmm. like this game. Like, go to go to class and do mini games. Yeah. Things like that, you know what I mean? I wish they would. And I'm glad Hogwarts Legacy does to some extent from the stuff I've been seeing, but, like, a lot of games just don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, I wish we had money, because I would want those two, the top left boots. I, I want and, those boots. And the bottom left thing. I'm sure they'll still be there when we go to school. <coughs> Maybe, but we won't have money when we go to school. Do you want to change our outfit? Sure. And we'll get hair. money. You mean our hair? Yeah, we're going to change our hair and our outfit. We haven't done this hairstyle yet. Do you like that it? That one's cute, yeah. You like it or no? Uh, kind of. Can we keep going and see more? This is Spectre's hairstyle. Okay. Uh, this is kind of like a Gulia hairstyle. That's Cleo. Yep. That is one we've used before. One we've used before. Don't think we used that one. No. Uh, I think we used that one at one point. That's uh, the genie lady. That's Gilda Goldstag. That's Cyclops. That's Jane Blue Little. Uh, that is Jennifer. That's ugly. Oh, okay. <laughs> we used that one. I like some of the ones we've already used, but. I like that one. Yeah, me too. I like the short one. Do you want to do the short one, or do you want to do that blue one? Yeah, we can do the, the short one. That's Let's just Toralize, by the way. Yeah, it is. Because you, you keep saying, like, oh, this is this person's, this is Toralize. You like the pink? Do you? Yeah, I think it's fun. It's going to be weird when we get this, and then we come back the next day, and we have, like, a longer hairstyle. Yeah, why, why it does turning? it keep moving? I don't know. Uh, it's because we put in extensions, obviously. That makes sense. Very long ones. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's cute. That is cute. They really want to show you when they're new. They do. This one's new. Do you like this one? Do you? I thought it was kind of cute, yeah. I thought maybe we could try to make an outfit around this. So that matches, but I don't know if I necessarily like that. That's the pink skirt we I got. I don't like that. I like the pink skirt. I don't like it with this. I like that. That's cute, yeah. Oh, that's and cute, that. too. That looks nice. And that looks nice. Uh -huh. What do you like with it? Um, I think I like this one. All right. I hate it, but okay. Oh, okay. Do you want like black leggings or no? Do you? Those are kind of cute. Yeah, that looks nice. Hey, it's... look, we have those shoes already. It's just we have them in black. Interesting. Well, why don't you see? Yeah, what other things we have? I like that those ankle work. boots. That would you? work with it. Okay. I feel like we're just looking like Toralai now. No, we don't. We never got many of these because, like, that's that green one would be nice. I like this one? Yeah, yeah. do you? Yeah. We never got too many of them, though, because, like, a lot of times you can't see them with different outfits. That's true. So, you like that? I, I like, like the pink yeah, one. Yeah, I like that one because it's, like, match. Uh, just do not our click hair. that weird uh, question mark. So we press accept. No. Yeah. Yay! I think we look cute. You wanna go to bed? Wait, wait, let's go to bed and let's clean it up in the morning. No, let's tidy up now. Okay. The reason I wanted to do that was there was some kind of weird trophy for doing it, but... Well, we can do it again when we wake up. I don't know. I, I Maybe we already got it. I don't think we did. So we're missing one turnip, four flags, uh -huh. and I don't remember how many codes. I couldn't Sorry. see it. Sorry. That's okay. Sorry. Somebody clicked through it really quickly. Sorry. It's fine, let's just go to school. I don't know, we've tried this a few times. Maybe I'm just like making it up. Or maybe it's a glitched achievement. Like so many of them are. Yeah, that's true. Well, at least you got 50 gamer score for completing that club. Yay, 50 uh, gamer gawk. Oh my. How do the uh, mermaids exist outside of water? Uh, that mermaid is a ghost so she can float, but I don't know. Manny still hasn't learned a thing. Can think we can have a chat when you have a second? Why do I need to, like, bully this man? Yeah, why are we Manny's keeper? I don't know. Like, I didn't sign up for this. 
I think we look cute. Yeah, we look nice. Yay! At least I think we do. Mm. But... I like that we actually change our outfit every day, unlike some people. What do you mean, like at the school? Yeah, everybody always wears the same outfit every day. That's true. It's, it's, it's kind of icky. It's their iconic stuff, Jill. They have to wear that. It's kind of icky. Why don't you go grab those coins again up by uh, the headmaster's office? On the the headmaster! Have we checked under the stairs to make sure there's no codes under them? Uh, we could go take a looksy smooksy dooksy. One thing I always thought was really funny in Charles Dickens, which, uh, like in the, um... What, what story was it again? Oliver Twist or whatever? Mm -hmm. I had to read it when I was younger. Mm -hmm. There's a guy named Bates, mm -hmm. and they call him Master Bates. Like, like as if he was, you know, like if you were to say Master Bruce to Bruce Wayne or something. Yeah, but is it supposed to be? No, it's oh, not hey, this to is be. a this is a new vending machine that we did with the Scudoon Council. That's cool. Yeah, isn't that fun? Yeah. Also, did he know what he was doing when? He I don't did think that? he did. I really, really don't. I really, really genuinely don't. Genuinely, you don't think so? No, genuinely, I don't think he did. I think it was just an innocent thing. Oh my. I wish we could walk under the stairs. That's a little dumb. I'm sorry. It's okay. It wouldn't change anything. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't change anything. I'm just critiquing the game. Okay, you have a phone addiction. Let's go to the next place. Oh, wait, oh, look I at like that. that. Why was it only three? I don't know why the ch clothes changed all of a sudden. <laughs> they never change in the morning. I don't know, and it was only three coins. Yeah, weird. Sorry about that. Do I like those shoes. Do you think the percentage is also towards how many clothes we own? Maybe. I wanted to try and own a lot of them, at least. Some of them are just recolors that I don't particularly want, but some of them are cool. I'm not sure what you do, though, once you beat the game. You know? Like, I highly doubt there's a post-game. I don't think so. I think it's maybe just... Start over? Yeah, or keep buying all the clothes until you have them all for maybe an achievement or something. I don't know. Yeah. And, like, find all the locker codes and stuff. Hopefully you can. It would really suck if, like, it ended and you couldn't. That would suck. 